here when we were doing this uh, linear differential equation solving uh, of second order we did product derivation right and we ended up with this equation right now here in the right hand side we had a function right r but what if it is zero on the right hand side there is no function it is zero in that case how do we solve it so that is what we are going to look at now if in the given equation rhs is equal to zero that is our equation is d square y by dx square plus p dy by dx plus q y is equal to previously we have seen r now it is zero right so in such a case what will happen now again if you recollect we arrived at this equation dv by dx is equal to e to the power of minus p dx by u square times integral of r u e to the power of p dx dx plus c1 right now in this case what will happen since r is equal to 0 this whole term disappears and we are left with uh, e to the power of integral of minus p dx by u square times c1 this part will become 0 so dv by dx now dv by uh, dx we want v so we integrate and when we integrate what do we get we get v is equal to c1 is a constant integral of e to the power of we can take that minus out minus integral of p dx by u square dx plus c2 so that is what v would be so which means our solution would be uv which is equal to u whatever it is and c1 integral of 1 by u square e to the power of minus p dx plus c2 or what we can do is we can say c1 u integral of 1 by u square e to the power of minus integral of p dx dx plus c2 u so in short if the rhs is zero then the formula becomes y is equal to u times integral of 1 by u square times e to the power of minus p dx dx okay now let's actually solve a problem of this type right so let's solve a problem and see how this works out so d2y by dx square plus 1 by x dy by dx minus 1 by x square y is equal to 0 and we are given that x plus 1 by x is a solution okay so which means x plus 1 by x is an integral right so which means we can say y is equal to uv where u is equal to x plus 1 by x which means du by dx would be 1 plus you know minus it will become minus 1 by x square so uv so u let's say x plus 1 by x so our equation will become d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u du by dx times dv by dx equal to 0. Now let's figure out what is going to be p plus 2 by u du by dx. This would be p is p is what? p is this. This is q. 
so p is 1 by x plus 2 by u u is what x plus 1 by x so x plus 1 by x times du by dx is 1 minus 1 by x okay now let's first simplify this off 1 by x plus if we take the lcm lcm will be x so that x can be taken up so while adding this would have become x square plus 1 times 1 by 1 minus 1 by x square okay, and now this will become 1 by x plus 2x by x square plus 1 minus 2x by x square times x square plus 1 one of the x's will cancel now let's add up the whole thing x times x square plus 1 this would become x square plus 1 plus 2x square minus which is equal to 3x square minus 1 by x times x square plus 1. So this is what p plus plus 2 by u du by dx. So our equation becomes what? p is 2v by dx square plus 3x square minus 1 by x times x square plus 1 dv by dx is equal to 0. Now we have to get rid of the second order. So let us say z is equal to dv by dx. So d2v by dx square would be what? It would be dz by dx. So now let us do the substitutions. So d2v by dx square becomes dz by dx plus 3x square minus 1 by x times x square plus 1 dv by dx would be z is equal to 0. Now uh, by you know moving this to this side uh, and then exchanging uh, dx and z what we would end up with is dz by z dz by z plus 3x square minus 1 by x times x square plus 1 is equal to 0 and now what do we do we integrate it but before we integrate it we have to somehow make this easier to manipulate right so dz by d dz by z plus now remember uh, partial fractions we have to split it into partial fractions so for that we can write this 3x square as 4x square minus x square minus 1 right again dz by z plus now if you notice this we can make it minus and take this into bracket so now we can split it into two parts 4x square by x times x square plus 1 minus x square plus 1 by x times x square plus 1. So here x square plus 1, x square plus 1 gets cancelled and we will end up with 1 by x. Here 1x and 1x gets cancelled. dx equal to 0. This becomes 4x by x square plus 1 minus 1 by x dx equal to 0. This dx also we can uh, distribute it to both of them. Okay, anyhow, now we integrate. So, when we integrate, what happens? This becomes, uh, it's in the denominator. So, log z plus. Now, here, uh, x square plus 1 is in the denominator. So, we can say log x square plus 1, right? Uh, but then, if we uh, differentiate x, uh, log x square plus 1, we will end up with 1 by x square plus 1 times 2. But here we have 4. So let us add 2. Or rather, uh, take, make it twice that. 2 times log x square plus 1. So here if you notice, when we differentiate it, it will become 1 by x square plus 1 and 2x. 
2x times 2 will be 4x. So 4x by x square plus 1. Similarly, here now 1 by x is log x is equal to remember when we have logs the constant of integration also we take it as log so log c1 now remember we can combine the logs so log of z since it is plus it becomes a multiplication but before that this 2 can be taken up so this becomes times x square plus 1 the whole square this is minus which means it goes into the is equal to log of c1 now we exponentiate it both the sides so e log e log get cancelled it's actually 1 so now z x square plus 1 square by x is equal to c1 or is c1 or z is equal to c1 x by x square plus 1 square now z is nothing but dv by dx is equal to c1 x by x square plus 1 square this dx we can take it here and integrate it to get v is equal to now comes the tricky part it's it's not that simple so let's uh, take c1 out x by x square plus 1 square dx okay now let's say t is equal to x square plus 1 right so dt is, would be what 2x dx right remember it will be dt by dx so if you bring it to this side it will become 2x dx now this 2 we can take it to this side so x dx which is what there is there in the numerator that becomes dt by d. so we are going to do the substitution now x dx is dt by 2 so that 2 can be taken out denominator we have t square right and remember whenever we integrate c2 has to be a uh, constant of integration has to be added so this becomes c okay so now what do we do now this would be equal to c1 by 2 this would be what this would be minus 1 by t try to differentiate this you will get t to the power of minus 1 if you differentiate that minus 1 will come down so this minus will become plus minus minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so if you take it down it becomes t square plus c2 so we have minus c1 by 2t plus c now minus c1 by 2 times t is what t is x square plus 1 plus c2 so our solution is y is equal to v times x plus 1 by x which means x plus 1 by x times v and v is minus c1 by 2 times x square plus 1 plus c2 let's take this as square brackets now let's take c2 first c2 times x square plus 1 by x i've added these two minus c1 by 2x square plus 1 again let me make this as square bracket times x square plus 1 by x so x square plus 1 x square plus 1 gets cancelled and we are left with c2 x square plus 1 by x minus c1 by 2x x is common to both so let's take 1 by x out so c2 x square plus c2 minus c1 by 2 so uh, let's split it up c2 x plus 1 by x times uh, 2 c2 minus c1 by okay now let this be equal to 
CE. So our solution becomes y is equal to C2x plus 1 by x. Here remember C is equal to 2C2 minus C1 by that is the solution. You, you, you will need to do a lot of practice. At least you have to solve uh, four or five problems at least uh, for you to get a little bit hang of it. Okay, so that's it for now. Bye.